Yeah, this is a kilo shy of his best. Absolutely enormous. Looks a little bit yep, heavy. Yeah, a little bit forward there. Yeah, he's a very methodical lifter. He's incredibly strong. Not quite as, uh, I guess you'd say, snappy as some of the other lifters out there. He moves yeah. well, but but uh, that bar is not quite as solid as you see uh, in some other athletes. Now the question is, you know, he's going to have a two-minute clock here, obviously, to follow himself. Could be just nerves. Maybe he uh, was a little bit, you know, shaken by right, the first right. out there, taking a heavy opener like that. But we'll see here as he comes out. Yeah, what corrections do you think he needs to make there? You know, it looked like he just got a little bit behind the bar, maybe just rushed that a bit and left it forward on the turnover. So a little bit too far back after the pull or during the pull? Yeah, after, after the bar passed his knee, you could see him open up a little bit. Uh -huh. and that bar just didn't travel back far enough. Right. You know, when athletes really rush through the movement, try to get under the bar too soon, it just ends up leaving the bar out in front of them mm. at best. And at worst, you know, they just can't even come close to making it. We've seen yeah. Hampton train very hard. He does a, a well, tremendous yeah. amount of volume. I was and just about to say his work capacity. Yeah. I spoke with Mike Turner about this. Uh, performance director, is that what Mike's uh, I think so, yeah. yeah, and he, he said that Hampton's work capacity is just like, unlike anyone else's. So coming back with two minutes on the clock to make this lift is not going to be, yeah. uh, from a fatigue standpoint, it's not going to be any type of problem for him. Yeah, so he's down just under a minute now. Yeah. So We should also yeah. mention at this point that this being an Olympic category means that athletes are not just trying to win or, or do well here. They're also trying to get into the top 10 in the world um, because the top 10 will get to go to the Olympics. Of course, you can only have one athlete per week per country. Um, but right now, Hampton Morris is in the top 10. He's pretty safe. He's seventh in the world with a 290 kilo total. That's about five kilos above the 10th the place athlete right now. So... He's probably opening heavy because he can, you know, he yeah. can handle uh, an upset if he if he needs to. But also, this could just put him into a bit of s a safer position. Yeah, he's got tw ten seconds on the clock here. Oh, it looked like a better pull to yeah, me. Yeah, it definitely was better. He held position over the bar well, but it's that left left yeah. side again on both lifts. It's his shoulder and his elbows just collapsed a bit. So he's got another two minutes on the clock, and uh, he'll have to come back out. And, you know, this not being an Olympics means that he can continue on in the competition in the clean and jerks if he wasn't able to make this third attempt. Yeah. But, you of know, course, if he wants to get a total, he, he's going to have to make this. And we just talked about this before. It's a game of strategy, right? Everyone's going to have to come in here and make the right decisions for themselves in every competition. Opening heavy like this isn't necessarily wrong. Uh, you know, depending on what they think is the best strategy for their, their lifter to get you know, yeah. where they need. He's obviously got more things on his mind here than, you know, trying to, to win this session. I don't think that's necessarily the first uh, priority, but uh, this 123 is definitely a heavy opener. He's on his third now with it, so we'll see if that was the right call. Well, you know, he put in a 301 kilo entry total, and so the 20 kilo rule means that his openers have to be yeah, 281, and so, you know, this 123 opener, he still has to open with as much as 158 kilos in the clean and jerk, which is a pretty heavy clean and jerk. So yeah. he probably felt well, they uh, had to declare that he needed to do it. Yeah, I think they declared 120, 161. Right. So even if he had made 123, he couldn't lower his clean and jerk opener to get no. the 20 kilo rule. He's stuck with what he's put in at weigh-ins. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh, this is tense for Hampton. Yeah. There's... U.S. athletes in the crowd. We've heard them cheer him when he comes on. Here we go. Hampton Morris. Very young athlete. He's got the strength. He's done this before. We've seen him do numbers like yeah. this. He's just got to hold position well in the pole. Youngest athlete in the field, 2004. Still a teenager. That's oh, oh, wow. What a save. He's fought so hard. 
He's, He's going to celebrate the it. There was a bit of movement on the left hand oh, side, and reds. they took it away. You know, it they looked have like you play a challenge card. Yeah, I mean, there's no other time. You have to play that. Yeah, this is the moment to do it. Uh, you it just saw like he they're... just sort of collapses on that left yeah. side. The, the well, left shoulder to, drops yeah. down, and then it puts a little bit of extra pressure on the elbow. And it, he, he's not an athlete who has an incredible lockout. I think that's well, a, a lift right worth challenging. Was, yeah, yeah, definitely worth challenging. I'm surprised they aren't playing that card yet. Surely they are playing so, it. So, you know, th they they haven't. They're just accepting that call. That to me is a bit odd because that definitely was challengeable in my mind. So, here's Trin, 126. Very good lift. Yeah. Did brilliant. come forward just a hair in that pull, but was able to kind of turn it over a little further than normal. Really, really good. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a disappointing start. I know we have a lot of people tuning in from the USA who wanted to see Hampton lift well, but, you know, don't be too disheartened. You can still come back in the clean and jerk, and that's where his strength lies. You know, a clean and jerk medal is very much on the cards for him. Yes. You know, yeah. there's only one athlete really here on paper who can out clean and jerk him, and that's the world record holder. So, you know, stick around because we might see him just get in the zone. He's very strong mentally, and uh, he might come out and put on a bit of a show. Well, you know, it, it may actually be a blessing in, in disguise in that he has really nothing on the line as far as the total goes, so he yeah. can push that clean and jerk and, and maybe take a shot at something huge. Oh, here comes Ogashev. I tell you what, he's looking... You're looking lean yep. compared to the 67, 73 kilo version yeah. of him that we've seen. I mean, that's a lot of weight to drop from 73 down to 61 over the last couple of years. A little bit stronger in the clean and jerk than he is in the snatch. Wow. wow. Very nice. A bit interesting. We see uh, yeah, Saeed Ali Husseini in the back there. Yeah, he's now coach of Uzbekistan. Oh, I, yeah, I, I yeah, didn't know yeah. that. Wow. Yeah, he was coaching the Iranian team at the Asian Championships in Bahrain last October. Two months later at the World Championships, he was with Team Uzbekistan. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I actually uh, said hi to him earlier in the training hall today. Mm -hmm. Commented that he's looking quite svelte. Yeah, he is. He's lost quite a bit of weight. He looks He's great. still absurdly strong. Yeah, I yeah. can only imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very strong athlete yeah. he was. Yeah, super friendly. Yeah. Great guy. So 27 on the bar now. We'll see who actually comes out for this. Obviously, Ergashev and Trin are probably not going to take it. It's just a kilo jump. So most athletes in the back room are being told are between sort of 100 and 120-ish kilos. Sergio Masida is at 90. Lee Farbin is just touching the bar, apparently, empty barbell. But I mean, he knows with 11 athletes on this field, he's going to be opening potentially. He, th there's a world in which he has three lifts back to back to back. You know, he's yeah, that kind possible. of guy. It's, it's possible that nobody else gets to 137. Um, so he knows basically, OK, I've got 30 attempts. There'll be a few yeah. misses in there. OK, I've got 40, 45 minutes. And then he can just take his time now. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's in the driver's seat. He can do basically whatever he wants yeah. there. My guess is he would open one a little bit lower to make yeah. sure he's on the board. And then Maybe just, drop down to 35, yeah. take a, a six kilo jump to 41, and then we'll see a, I don't know, maybe this is wishful thinking, an assault at the 141 world record. But the thing is, he really, he's in such an unfortunate position where He's the absolute obvious choice for the Olympics. China can send three men. Yeah. And right now, the 89s are tough. Yeah. The 73s are tough. Even the 102s of Liu Hanhua are tough. He's the only guaranteed gold, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't have to prove himself here. He can either just go for world records and see what he can do. Um, he doesn't have to you know, build a total. His total is already too good compared to everyone else in yeah. this category. Exactly. So here's Tran Nguyen from Vietnam. Oh, good wow. opener. It looked. It was a good opener. I think that, that looked pretty elbow. heavy. 
left elbow? Yeah, yeah. he got one yeah. red. It I, did look a tiny bit yeah, soft. Yeah, it didn't look quite like an opener to me. Yeah. But, I mean, he, he's a strong guy. At the Asian Championships last year, when we got to commentate, he, he took the silver medal there, snatched 134 kilos. That's the most he's ever done. Then at the World Championships, he made 126. So he's already up on that. That was the last time he competed. It's been almost a year, which, you know, it's a long time for an international athlete to not lift. Yeah, that's a very long stretch, actually. Here's Rico Saputra, 129. Yeah. Saw him last time, I believe, was at Worlds. Yeah, he was actually at the Asian Championships um, in May in Jinju as well. Snatched 133 kilos, clean and jerked 165. He's definitely eyeing up a medal. Ooh. Big pull. Yep. Not the greatest turnover, you know, a little bit slower on that lockout. Yeah. You see that oftentimes. Athletes have a really large pull, really huge pull. Bar goes high, but their turnover is just a little bit slow, or the, that receiving position is not as snappy as it could be. You contrast that with maybe the style of the Turkish lifters, where it's, you know, <laughs> kind of a weaker pull, but yeah. incredibly strong, rock solid lockouts. Yeah, he's got such a good clean and jerk that. Uh, Oh, wow, we're at 130 kilos already. Yeah, this is moving Gosh, along it just happens, quite a doesn't bit. it? Suddenly you're, you're in the big numbers. I mean, this is now over 90% of the world record, just. So this is where yeah. things start to get very, very interesting. So Masita is the lifter at 130. We'll see if he comes out for this. Yep. It's been about 20 seconds with his attempt. He, oh, he's oh, moved he's up. moving up. Yeah, he... He is one of those athletes who... Uh, he opens heavy. The, yeah, the it's Italians like the rest of the Italians. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, though. What, what does he actually take? Yeah, he told us that he's not had any injuries since the start of the Olympic qualifying period, which is really good. Yeah, so Masita bumped to 133. That's big. He's, yeah, yeah, that's a huge opener. Very big. So here's Chomp Tran. Tara Pat from Thailand, 130 on the bar. Oh, yeah, strong pull. It did go behind him a little bit, yeah. but he's got plenty of reserve there to yeah, fight with does. it. Yeah, he weighed in at the Asian Championships. That's it. And then uh, competed at the World Champs last year. Disqualified, actually, 2018. Took a, took a four-year ban he had. But he's now back in, uh, in pretty good shape. Back on the straight and narrow path. <laughs> so here's Van Trin. Second attempt. Yep, two Vietnamese athletes in this category, so they're really vying for the uh, front of the pack yeah. to get into Olympic contention. Yeah, we see this a lot. A couple of athletes from the same country basically have to fight for their spot. Yeah. Wow, what yeah, a fight. Very good, yeah. Forward Brilliant. like his first, but yeah. he's getting under that bar and he's moving under it really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we were saying, we do see that kind of inter-team inter, inter -team battle yeah. here happening <laughs> a lot of sessions. We saw it in the 49s yesterday, both USA, two athletes battling back and forth, and China. What's fun here is that Van Trin, who just made that, uh, that 130, he's the slightly weaker of the two in the snatch, but he's stronger in the clean and jerk. Yeah. So it's going to be it's a lot of fun. I think we've got another battle in this category. Uh, do we have two... No, that's actually it. Uh, I thought there was another two-country battle, but there's not. Here's Ergashev, second attempt. This is getting up there for him, certainly, in this category. Yeah, we've never really seen what he can do here at 61. 
But 130 is a pretty big lift for him in the snatch. Yeah, he made it 138 at the Asian Champs, but he was a full 67 there. So he's lost six kilos in four months. It's not easy to do. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That, that weight cut is kind of showing there. That was a heavier looking mm -hmm. lift than the first. So Only a four kilo increase as well. Sergio Macida in the back room is at 110 kilos, so he's not planning on coming out quite yet. Yeah. Um, Shota Mishvalidze of Georgia, he's at 127, so he's he's got to be thinking about coming out at some point soon. Ivan Dimov also just at 110 kilos. He's made that, so he's gone up. Yeah, the battle here between Mishvalidze and Masida. Yeah, it's exciting. Is, yeah, it's the we'll rematch. The, it is. Two totally different styles, too. Right. Mishvalidze basically went lift for lift, putting together, just oh. assembling a great total. Looked like he was out of it. Masida. Masida hit a personal best yeah. clean and jerk, and then Mishvalidze just went up and yeah. after a miss, right? I think he jumped six or seven kilos, made it. Spectacular end to that men's 61s in yeah. uh, Armenia. We'll see what they provide today, but based on Messina's opener here, he's he's going for it. He's going to be aggressive. Yeah. Ergashev still the lifter. He's going to repeat this 130, I'm assuming, because his clock is running down here to about a minute. Well, Sergio Messina is eight years the younger of uh, Mishvalidze, so they'll battle it out maybe for another year or so, but basically Shot is going to be passing on the the torch to Sergio yeah. before long for European champion, I'd have thought. I mean, Sergio is a junior world champion. He's won sort of youth level competitions and juniors many times, but he's still waiting to do that at a senior level. Here's Ergashev's third and final attempt, the junior world record holder in the snatch. But he, I mean, he snatched 136 kilos in this category years ago. Yeah. But, you know, he's. Plenty of injuries over the years. Seasoned athlete at this point. Yeah, it was a better attempt, but he just didn't have the speed there. It looks heavy. Yeah, looks you heavy can see it on him. Well. Cutting that much weight, dropping that much body weight in a short period of time is it's going to take something off your lips for sure. We're seeing that here. Only 126 for him. Interesting seeing, uh, you know, you mentioned Ali Hussaini. We see him in the back there, the ex-Iranian super heavyweight now coaching in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan has a bit of a history of this. I remember in 2019 in Doha at the uh, sixth, uh, what's it called, Qatar International? Something like that. And uh, Uzbekistan had a Kazakh coach. The coach that ah. used to coach Ilya Ilyin yes. years prior, he'd been sort of uh, picked out and, and hired to go over to Uzbekistan, and then the same things now happened with Ali Hosseini. His shotter, 132 for oh, his he's, attempt. He's bumped up a bit here. 132 yeah. is pretty good. This is big. Yeah, this this would keep him in close contention with Masida. He made 136 at the European Championships. But the weights aren't tightened properly. He's going to take care of that himself yeah I'm actually not sure what the ruling on that is big, classic Michelin's yep, technique yep. big jump forward yep. big swing in the bar yep. but he nails it he's yep. looking very good big here. internal rotation of the shoulders catches it on slightly bent arms but they're solid they're locked out yep He's happy with that. Yeah, excellent. He's looking stronger, actually, over yeah. the last couple of years. It's almost like he's there's a new lease of life that he has, having been a, a pretty good, you know, 61, 67 kilo lifter for a while. Uh, he's now sort of getting back into the swing of things. You know, that 162, that's the second biggest lift. He's, well, that's the most he'd ever hit in the cleaner jar. Yeah. And so uh, to be doing that so many years into the sport, his lap suit. He's an independent nation athlete. Yeah, yeah a little bit mistimed front. there. Mm. Jumped way off the ground, but just a bit too early. No Didn't way. bring the bar with him on the way back. 
So 32 stays on the bar. We'll see if Lapsu takes it again. Bumping to 33 would definitely buy him some time. There's a lot of lifts there. I don't know if he wants that time, though. Ivan Dimov in the back room just missed 130 kilos behind. He's going to be out probably next with 133. Actually, not. Yeah, I think he'll be out next at 133 after this. Lee Farbin is at 80 kilos. Just doing it for doubles again. Just waiting, waiting. Yeah. He doesn't, you know. The Chinese athletes they work up pretty, pretty fast. I mean, we saw that this morning. Yeah. Within about 15 minutes, Shi Ziyong had gone from barbell to 160 kilo snatch. <laughs> he was taking 15, some... 15, 15, yep. 10, 10, 5. Is that right? Five. No, I think he's like 10 kilo jumps. 71. 40, 50, 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he did. It was a 15, a 15, a 15, a 10, a 10, and then a 5. Yeah. That does it, yeah. For a nice 160 snatch. So, yeah, it looks like uh, Lapsu is going to follow himself. Yeah. Probably a good strategy. Yeah. Uh, that one did not look super strong. No. Here he comes. He's got to get on the board here before he can think about competing with anyone else. His best snatch in this category is 132, so he's equaling it at this. Oh, oh, oh what, what a fight. Yeah, much, much better timing there. But uh, that bar still swung quite a bit. Well, now he's in a tough spot. He's probably going to take that kilo jump to get some time, is my guess. But it's not the best place to be, having missed your first two and then having to increase on your third. Well, Max... Yep, if I asked you trend. what weight you think Sergio Macedo is on in the back room, what would you tell me? I would have to think he's in the high 20s. He's at 110. Wow. <laughs> you know, he's coming up for blood at this competition. Big jumps, 10, 20, 27. Still. <laughs> he's still, yeah, he's, he's got a lot to do. He's yeah, he might be opening higher than 33 then. Yeah, 35. Yeah, possibly. Take a few shots. I mean, he's, wow, that's heavy. He's pretty locked in in the top 10 in the world right now. Yeah, he's like fifth in the world, so his Olympic sort of status is pretty much firmed up. Final attempt. Yeah, a bit too much. Yeah, so he's going to still have the one kilo lead though over his teammate, which is good for now, but his teammate, Chan Wen, has got two more attempts. Yeah. He's the stronger clean and jerker. Yeah. Trin's the stronger yeah. clean and jerker, so he's in an okay spot, obviously. Uh, Nguyen's going to probably pass him by a pretty solid margin in the snatch. It's just a matter of who can actually put up that final clean and jerk to win that yeah. inter-country battle. So Lapsu did, did stay at 132. Yeah. Probably the smart move. Yeah. That last attempt was certainly closer than the first. He's got to almost go in between the two attempts for this one. Yeah. In front, behind, and then hopefully in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, cut that one again. Yeah. Jumps away a little bit, sort of hops back after the contact. Yeah, so much of the sport is just a matter of being in the exact position you want to be in. Any, any deviation from that, if the bar is forward or back, you just have so little margin for error, especially as the weight gets that much above your own body weight. Right. It's just so challenging. Yeah, positions, rhythm, tempo, yep. and then it's weight. Okay, so here it comes, Dimov, 133 kilos. Tallest athlete in the field. As I mentioned, we caught up with him and he told us about the surgery that he'd had on his knee back in May. Yeah, not a long time actually to recover from that. Yeah, well a month ago he dropped the bar on his, uh, on his foot and he fractured his foot in two places. So in the last month, he's had to also recover from a foot injury. Right. I believe uh, Kostasar also suffered from a, a foot injury or a yeah. lower leg injury. Yeah, Achilles, and he's, he's in good shape already as well. Not a good go for the Bulgarian team. There's rumor that he might compete. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yep. I mean, this guy knows how to make some saves. He what always has lift. done just feisty. Yeah. He's got, you know, a, not the typical body type either. He's very yeah. tall for this class, got long limbs, but uh, he makes everything work for him. Yeah. 
He's one of those lifters, it's kind of typical Bulgarian, where you're not sure if he has any more in him, and then he comes out and, and just makes the next lift and the next lift and an even heavier one. And he just seems to be going from strength to strength. I mean, he started competing in 2018 at the European Youth Championships. He graduated up to the juniors, and then he's twice been in the seniors. This is now his first world meet. So he's just getting better and better. Yep. At the European Championships a few months ago, he only made 127. So to have been opening uh, several kilos above that just now. Yeah, despite a exciting. surgery there. Yeah. That's impressive. It's knee surgery and broken foot. Yeah. <laughs> and here he is. Yeah, if the Bulgarians are anything, tough is definitely one of those mm -hmm. things. Okay, so Tranwen wants to get as big of a lead over his teammate here, who made 130 kilos, and is now done. This will move him three kilos above, and he'll still have a third attempt. You know, we did yeah. say his opener looked a bit heavy, yeah. and, and it looked it's showing here. That was very slow off the floor. Yeah. Slow, I mean, patient. He held position in the pool, but it was slow. Yeah, it just looked labored. It yeah. was not the kind of speed we want to see for a second attempt. So Lee Farbin doubled 100 kilos, and then he went up to 110, hit it for a cheeky power snatch, and is still sitting with 110 loaded. Masita's moved to 135 as well. Yeah, so yeah I think I expected that. Yeah, big, big opener yeah. for him. I mean, the amount of work that must have gone in the back room by the Italian coaching staff to have predicted this sort of chock-a-block portion in the yeah. low 130s to know, to have the confidence to stick at 110 for so long for Sergio. Yeah, that's experience coaching. Yeah. That's, that's what you need. You know, they just knew this is going to go on and on. It's going to take a while, and then there's going to be a clearing at 135, and that's where we're going to come in. <laughs> Second attempt now for Chom Chuan. short. The first one was a little behind, too. He may have just overcorrected. So he's going to stay at 33, assuming uh, uh, why we assume that. Yeah. Obviously, Nguyen as well has 33. I'd be surprised to see either one of them bump yeah. above that. It just doesn't make sense. It looked heavy for both of them. Yeah. Yeah, which leaves basically 35, 34, 35, 36 as the next attempts. You know, when you look at the scoreboard and you see Lee Farbin and Sergio, you look at their openers for the snatch and the clean and jerk. I mean, Sergio is, he's getting up there. He's sort of yeah. making a bit of an assault on pushing that Olympic champion world record holder. Yeah. You know, we haven't really seen what uh, Lee Farbin could do being pushed. Mm. Maybe he gets pushed uh, on both fronts here, Masita, and then possibly someone in the clean and jerk, maybe Hampton. Yeah, it, was, it used to have... Uh, a bit of a battle from Echo Yuli Irawan of Indonesia, yes. but he's now since, well, at least here he's competing at 67. He looks good in the training hall too. Six seconds. Yeah, yeah it looks just a slow. Stronger, but not, uh, not there. No. So he's in a tough spot here because he's next to his teammate. He's the stronger snatcher, but he's actually a kilo behind him. Yeah. Uh, and he's not as strong in the clean and jerk. Lee Farbin has just power snatched 120 kilos. You know, we could that's see... That's a good sign, right? We could see three athletes here taking shots at that 140. Snatch. I mean, who are you thinking? Well, Dimov thinking, or Mishvalidze as the third athlete? Uh, you know, Mishvalidze possibly. I'm thinking Dimov. Yeah, Dimov. Dimov is the one that I would think just puts it on. <laughs> yeah, if he makes 37 yeah. on his second attempt, then Yeah, he might take a shot. Possible. But yeah, Mishvalidze maybe as well. He's very strong on that I, I mean, I'd be surprised. It's big. I'd be That's, surprised, yeah. Yeah, it's a stretch. I think if Sergio makes the 135, he will take the five kilo jump. Third attempt. Yeah. Similar thing. His opener looked so nice, so strong, but 
Just hasn't had it in him on his second yeah. or third. It's just not there. So who do we have up next? Rico Saputra, yeah. I mean, yep. Saputra's gosh, it's here. been a long time since he hit that 129. He's just been yeah. sat there. And again, he's another athlete who is definitely wanting to challenge for a medal. I mean, it, it's it's tight at the top, but he's got such a good clean and jerk at the moment. 165 he made at the Asian Champs. 10 kilos under Lee Farbin's world record that he hit at the World Champs last year. Uh, yeah. Just swung it a little bit. Yeah. That was a that very strong pull, though. It was. Yeah, he can make that. So, well, something we've not mentioned. Uh, a few of you might be wondering where is Chen Li Jun? Right. Because you know Chen Li Jun, obviously Olympic champ at 67, used to be a 62, was a world champ there, and then recently made the cut down to 61 to try and fight with Li Farbin for this Olympic spot. But you know, I think a couple of times he tried and he just wasn't able to really get too close. And, uh, well, I guess he just thought, you know what, it's just too much to, to cut down to 61. I'm just going to stick a 67, win a few world championships, if, if at all possible, yeah, exactly. at the end of a pretty long career he's had. You know, he's coming up on 10 years international at this point. Yep. One of the old guard of the Chinese team. Yeah. So Saputra staying 34 here, it looks like. That was a very strong attempt. He just swung it behind. Yeah, here he comes, Biscuit right away. That's the one. Good fight. Yeah, he had a little balance. bit of a rock. Yep. And that was a good. <laughs> I would love to know what he said. Yeah. If anyone speaks Indonesian, come and let us know. So, Masita is on the board here, 135. Yeah. We'll see if he comes out. I, I would be shocked I if he, he opens will. heavier. This seems yeah. like the right. This is the most weight he's hit all year. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I mean he did hit it in the training hall the other day, but this is. Big. Yeah, and you know, we don't know what he's done in training. Right. Possibly he's exceeded this by a, a wide margin. I guess we'll find out what shape he's in right now. You know, apparently in the back room, Lee Farbin is turning and looking up at the big screen. He's watched every single lift. Wow. Keeping an eye on, I guess, on what shape everyone's in. It could be that he's bored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here he comes. He said that training's been good physically and mentally. He's prepared for this. Beautiful wow. lift. Wow. That was very solid. He's made this weight now three times in competition. And he's getting pretty comfortable at it. Yeah. But now to be opening there. I mean, we posted a video of him the other day on Weightlifting House Instagram just to show off his technique. Just because, yeah. you know, few people move quite like him. Yeah, he's got such a smooth vertical pull. Yeah. It's really exceptional. And you'll notice with him, even in the clean and jerk, you won't see a belt. You're not going to see any knee sleeves. Yeah. He's just, you know, as naked as they come in the weightlifting sense. Yeah. <laughs> just technique and strength. So Mishvalidze here now, 136. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the battle between these two is... You know, it feels somewhat legendary at this point. Even though they've not done it for long, it's just getting more and more exciting. I think especially because the two teams are such strong teams. Yes. It's yeah. the battle of, you know, the two coaches. You've got Asinidzi versus the Italians. You've got such a strong coaching staff. You've got young athlete versus yeah. older. And both teams Technician very, versus yeah. shot a mission, let's say. <laughs> both teams kind of uh, very tight-knit. Yeah. You see them all train together, travel together. So here's Michelitzi's response to Sergio's 135 opener. Kilo up. 136. 
Wow, look at that Just hop forward. Exactly what you expect from him. A big, big loop. That's Hops surely... forward a few feet, but he's made it. The oh, two to good. one. Really? Two to one. They're, they look surprised. Yeah, Asenite they're playing surprised. straight out. Yeah. Don't get in the way of that man. They're playing I mean, the challenge card <laughs> now. He looked pretty upset there. We've seen us needs a, a very vocal, very yeah. uh, uh, emotional, and, and wears his expression. He's an animated coach. Yeah. And look, he's even coming out, putting a little bit of pressure. He's, he's, yeah. he's looking up at the screen. He's, let's see this. Yeah, he's pointing to both of his own elbows. Well, well that's the thing. He does. Yeah, he, he has a dodgy lockout. Uh, we know that. You know, it looked like it kind of came down on him pretty hard there. Oh, I really we can to see this. in the auditorium here, we can see yeah, the replay got, camera. Yeah. It looks like on the catch, both elbows may have buckled a little bit. I like to call that a rotation. Yeah, we don't you know. know. <laughs> it's, it's hard to, well, it's hard to tell. It could be. You know, that bar yeah. moves behind him really far. And you know what? When you're an internally rotated athlete, it's yeah. harder to know what's what. If you're in a, if you externally rotate and you lock out really nicely, you know, elbow movement is obvious. It's clear. Yeah. But with an athlete like him, you just can't see what's happened. They're announcing something. They're calling out even Dimov, so they must have made it. It's a no left. Yeah. Yeah, they took it from him. Yeah. What a shame. Yeah, that's devastating. Oh, wouldn't it be great to see Mishvalidze getting a medal at the world level? Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, he's got one more attempt. So Dimov now with the 136. Yeah, he's got a pretty strong pull, and then he's just under the bar. He, he makes some adjustments that are really impressive. You know, it's the battle here. Mishvalidze, they're, they're kind of battling here for third, it looks like. Amazing to see Europe so high up in this. You know, three of the four remaining athletes uh, yeah. from the Europeans. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a little yeah. much. He didn't move well under that at all. Yeah. His feet were a little bit off. He picked one foot up, the other one stayed down. Well, so now it's really the matter of who makes 136 here. Yeah. Mishvalidze, I, even Dimov's lift did not inspire a lot of confidence in me. But gosh, I tell you what, Sergio Masida looked great on that yeah. opening attempt at 135. He's so I mean, strong. Right now, he's, he's looking at a silver. Yeah. Right? A world silver. Unbelievable. Youngest athlete in the field. Yeah, you know, it's also a question of where he goes. I mean, he, we could see a pretty big snatch from Masita. I mean, 140 yeah. plus for sure is, is in the cards. 140, I imagine he's going to maybe look for. Just looking around, Max, we've got the Chinese athletes behind us. We can see some Indonesia as well. I think Italian somewhere. Here's Shotter. Points, points to, to his elbows. elbows this time. He yeah. didn't do that last time. Yeah. You know, he's been around so much. Yeah. I'm sure every he ref and juror has seen him do this. Yeah. It has to be frustrating that that last one was turned mm. down. There we go. That's yep. got to be it. Yeah, much what better. What a lift. Incredible. Unbelievable. Shot to Mish for Lidze. He's still here. He's still Let's go. in it. Wow. Give that man a fourth attempt. Come on. That was fantastic. I wasn't sure what was going to happen there. And to be honest, yeah. you know, having to repeat a lift like that well, sometimes. Mentally. Yeah. You know, a less experienced athlete may may give up a bit. Yeah. He knows he so how to defeated. stay in it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He's still there. He's Look fighting. He knows what can happen. Yeah. So apparently, uh, Sergio Masita dropped down, hit a 120 snatch in the back room. Okay. Just to keep some level of, you know, freshness, readiness. Look at this. Uh, Lee Fabin made 130. Fabin is, so, is the lifter at 37. Yeah. Masita's so. jumped up. We'll see if... Oh, this is great. This yeah. is great. Wow. So Fabin's coming out now for 37. Has the 
clear support of the Chinese delegation here. Every single one of them getting that chant every time. Yep. Li Fa Bin Jai Yo. I think essentially translates as let's go, Li Fa Bin. And just so muscular, you know, yeah. in the upper body and in the legs, but. Yeah, just incredibly strong. Well over double body weight for his opening attempt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> super, super <laughs> solid opener. You know, he really shows, even though that weight is close to what everyone else is doing yeah, on their thirds here, he shows us that it is just an opener for him. I don't know if you saw, but recently, Max, uh, a few universities were working to, to develop a new, you know, Sinclair coefficient oh, type yes, of I've thing. Heard. I think they were called K points or Q points, something like that. Yeah. Um, and it worked out that the best weightlifter in the world right now, according to that, is Lee Farbin. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have a hard time accepting that when the strongest weightlifter of all time exists, but... Yes. You know. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. Okay, Sergio Masida. 137. He's going for 137. He's looking yeah, to, smart to equal. Two kilo jump. I guess 140 is maybe not on the cards today for him. He'll likely have to follow himself after this as well if he makes it. New personal best. Wow. Beautiful lift again. I mean, that's got to be... Looks every That's bit as capable as Leaf I've been here. That's a great <laughs> snatch. And smart. Wow. Just a two kilo jump. He's staying close there. He's he's in a spot now. He could take. He's so efficient. He's, I mean, uh, even Dimov has 137 here, but I just, I don't think we think no. that that's uh the 136 you know, looked pretty heavy. It, it would tie him. He, he wouldn't even get ahead in the medals here. He's going to no. be a bronze here. If but he I mean makes that's this. what he's going for. It's a, yeah. Yeah, it's a bronze. Yeah, it's a right now, Mishalidze. we've got yeah, Mishvalidze in the bronze position. This is tight. This is really shaping up to be a, a fun session. Yeah. First one was pretty solid. Second one was was a bit rough. Yeah. It didn't look confident. And uh, we'll see here. You know, if anything, the Bulgarians are able to, <laughs> to work magic on right. third attempts. So. Does he have it in him? It's a personal best if he makes it by two kilos. Oh, yeah. Great attempt, yeah. but it just was not there. It was a great attempt. I mean, he pulls that really nicely. Yeah. The bar stays so close. Yeah, the Bulgarians are just masters of being able to lift a weight that, that just looks like it's super heavy. Yeah. You know, they stay with it that pull. With they, they have incredible speed and, and zero fear of yep. moving under the bar. But this is an interesting battle here. Sergio is going to take... 39, probably. probably. Right now yeah. it says 38, but he'll bump up another kilo. Yeah, that's my guess. 30, 39. Levi Benz asked for 41, which, which we means, expect. Which means 46 is possible on his third. Yeah. Right? Five kilo jump. Because the thing with Levi Ben is he is too strong in the clean and jump. Yeah. Yeah. No one's going to catch him there. Here he comes. 139. Huge lift. This is uh, a real display of technique over brute strength. Clearly a very strong athlete, but the way he moves is, I mean, even compared to Lee Farbin, it might be second to none in this category. Yeah, he's just so vertical on that pull. Nothing is wasted. Yeah, huge extension just in all positions in his back. Oh, and it really, was right there. really close. Right there. He's got that at some point in his career. I mean, he's so young. Yeah. He's not even 20 yet. I mean, Actually, he might be. He might have been a 2002 birthday. You uh, really don't get any closer than that. Him. That was a great pull. Yeah, 2002. But still, he, <laughs> he's <Yeah>. young. <laughs> he won the 2019 Youth Worlds. Uh, he's, yeah, he's a, and the 2021 Junior Worlds. He's the kind of lifter where you look at him and you think, look, you're 21 years old. You're lifting, going for a weight six kilos under the world record. It's not implausible that he could be attempting world records at some point. 
Yeah, exactly. So here's Lee Fabin. 141. It's a, such a, a big second attempt. Huge lift. Very calm. He's been doing this for so long. Of course, he is our reigning world champion. World record holder. Yeah. Across the board. He's, well, he's a multiple time world champion. He's the Olympic champion. He owns every world record. There's nobody really who can contest with this guy. A master of weightlifting. What an adjustment. I look mean, at that fight. Look at the heels come off. He rolled that bar <laughs> behind him a yeah, little too yeah. far. Then he seemingly <laughs> drew on some kind of strength. We can't even comprehend where it came right. from onto his toes, back onto his heels, push the bar where he wanted it. That and that's the has, thing with Li Fabin. He's, uh, more than any other Chinese athlete, he has a very vertical torso. And so you often see him almost moving forwards and backwards with his Watch arms this overhead. Watch adjustment here, behind, Watch forward, the heels. back. So the question is, is he going to go for a world record at 146? That would be a or bigger jump. That would be a five kilo jump. Yeah. Took four on the first. But Not saying that that's yeah, uh, I know. really any rule you have to yeah. follow, but this would be a huge attempt at 146 if he takes it. I don't really know what else he would take. He's so far ahead. Yeah, 43 here. That's what he's called for now. We'll see if he goes up from there. 43 would be an attempt to basically buy some time. Yeah. The I rotors. mean, even if he takes three, it's still just a pleasure yeah. to watch. You know, sometimes yeah. we, you know, unfairly feel like we're owed world record attempts by world record holders, but really we need to appreciate that before they appeared, these numbers that they're now lifting would have been world records. The world record total that he owns is uh, 380. Yeah, it's 318. Here we go. This is it. World record attempt yep. coming up. He's going for it. You know, we saw one in the last session in the women's 49s. He may have heard the commentary. He was watching the screen in the he back. He was, yeah. He yeah. heard it. You know, well, I did see someone purchase a ticket under the name Farbin Lee. So, you know, it makes sense, Max. Here Huge we go. attempt here. 146 yeah. world record. This would be an astonishing lift. Unbelievable. His last was a bit wobbly. He had to make several adjustments to satisfy that barbell yeah. and get back up with it. But if anyone is in control of the weight, it is Lee Faber. Yeah. This is it. Huge chance from the Chinese athletes and coaches in the crowd. He won the Asian Championships with a 143 snatch. But he hasn't snatched this type of weight since 2019. That's when he set the world record at 145 kilos, becoming world champion. Yeah. World record attempt, 146 at 61. Oh, oh it was right so there. So close. Yeah, Just so one behind close. a little bit. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's remarkable. Yeah. Still an incredible performance. 141 is absolutely crushing in this session. Yeah, just Four to kilos. see a world record that close yeah. is a thrill. You know, world records come so infrequently in the sport. To see an attempt, you know, always a lot of fun. Let's look at this again. Just too far yeah. behind. You couldn't save that one. Yeah. You know, a kilo or two more, it might not have gone back that Yeah, far. yeah, that's true. That's just so powerful. It might have been enough tension to, to stop it from rolling back. Wow. 